Hi, I'm Sarah Bradley. I'm a counsellor and focusing oriented therapist. I work with adults and children. I'm also a focusing trainer, children's focusing trainer. I'm very interested um, in focusing with children. And I did my master's counselling research study at UEA on focusing with children in schools. So I've written a chapter in Senses of Focusing Volume 1 on introducing focusing to children using a story. The aim of this chapter is to demonstrate a way in which counsellors working with children in a time limited capacity can enable a child to be open about and express their difficult feelings from that very first session. Obviously, when you're working in an organisational setting with just six to eight sessions, um, time is of the essence. So the story in the chapter is a wonderful resource for enabling that process to, to happen quite quickly for optimising the therapeutic content of the sessions so that the child can get the most benefit from them. So as well as presenting the story, the chapter shows by way of a case study how the counsellor might move forward after telling the story by clearing a space and then enabling the child to explore and symbolise their felt sense on a body map. So for those of you who don't um, know or are not familiar with the body map, um, it's a, a body outline and you use symbolic objects to express feelings and the felt sense on the outline. You can add to it, you can take away, you can change it as the process moves forward. So the story itself um, is one that I've written. It's called Bear's New Friends and is animated with nesting dolls. So the nesting dolls that I use are animals. So we've got um, Bear, there's Bear, <laughs> and he's the main character. And then you've got um, his feelings inside or parts of Bear, which are angry fox, kind, curious, compassionate owl, and worried rabbit, and sad otter. So the nesting dolls are perfect for illustrating concept of um, parts of self by Anne Weiser Cornell and also self in presence, the owl. Um, and so by demonstrating the different parts inside Bear and that he can have a relationship with these parts, uh, children are much more willing to identify and acknowledge their own feeling parts, especially um, it's useful that they can identify those difficult feelings like anger, anxiety and sadness. So often children will keep those from you. They've learned that they're not okay, that they're bad, that, that there's a terrible thing inside them and they want to hide that. But with this story, they're willing um, to actually show what is there inside them. Okay, so um, the story is, is disarming and it, it models for the child that is okay to have these difficult feelings and that we can do something with them. So the first half of the story has Bear really um, not liking his feelings, rejecting them, turning away from them, um, pretending they're not there, etc. The second half of the story, with the help of our self in presence here, um, we can see then Bear turning towards his feelings, being kind, being compassionate, being curious, listening to them, understanding them, providing for their needs. So great focusing process in the story. And then once we've told the story to the child, we can move forward by um, asking the child to identify their own parts. And we can use feeling cards to help them to identify different feelings or emotions inside them, but they can obviously just you know go, go within and, and find for themselves what, what's there so these are not completely necessary but they can be helpful once the child's noticed all that is there we can do a clearing a space see which one wants attention now which one wants us to hear it and then we can go over to the body map or depending on the child's preference you might prefer to do art or sand tray or clay. There are various ways that a child can express that feeling and enable the felt sense to unfold. Okay, so um, for more information, you can just have a look in the book, in the chapter there, volume one. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.